Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I mentioned in the Dog Soldiers figure review that I was going to be showing you the complete werewolf collection. So I've crammed everything in here as best I can. And we'll just go through each thing and just have some fun looking at all this cool werewolf action. Big werewolf fan here. What's your favorite werewolf film, folks? Get ready for a hell of a lot of comments saying American Wealth in London. I love that one too. Every time I watch it, it makes me second guess what is my favorite werewolf movie. But really, as I've said before, it's Dog Soldiers. Uh, that one right there. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. And then, you know, number two, I'd probably give to American Wealth in London. But I have to say my favorite werewolf design um, from any film was from The Howling, which is uh, this movie there also from 1981 the same year as american wealth in london this is a custom uh, howling figure not 100 percent accurate as i said in the review but pretty damn close and it was by creep customs only one in the world ever made and i did some little repainting uh, stuff to it i repainted the fur to make it darker and then repainted the eyes to make them look more wild and intense and just added some blood and to the claws and gave him uh, the base made a little card for the front just added some skulls now that base was originally uh, the one that came with the cool models werewolf here that's c double o models not cool but cool models one word and yeah you can find this one on ebay sometimes it goes for pretty big money because there's not that many out there but that's that was my first one six scale werewolf figure. I still love that one. I still get tempted to do some modifications. I definitely would like to change the clothing. Uh, unfortunately, he's not sculpted with, you know, the hair all over his body. Uh, you can just see a little bit of the plastic body there because I've got him looking up. Um, so I have always pictured him in like a battle damage, you know, obviously ripped because he's transformed, but like a leather jacket, the same kind that Arnold Schwarzenegger wore in Terminator 2. Uh, one of those, but really ripped and kind of bloody with maybe just a ripped white t-shirt or something. Keep the jeans because they're pretty good. Then there's this Sota Toys American Werewolf in London bust. Now, they only made um, a very limited amount. I don't know, I'll have to... I don't think it's even visible anymore yeah one of the fat oh sorry whatever my number was i can't see anymore it's just gone but they only made a thousand of these and you never really see them i added the flames on the candles and i added well i had to redo the teeth actually i had to sculpt the teeth again can't remember why but i did and added some blood but a really cool piece to have and like i said very rare you really don't see many of those about and then you've got the modified, well, just added some EBA blood to the NECA Ultimate Kessler Wolf figure. And that's a, an amazing piece, one of the very best pieces NECA have done. And they've done so many incredible pieces. Really looking to, uh, forward to seeing their Krampus figure. That's going to be coming out soon. There's the Sota Toys Dog Soldiers official figure. The grey uh, version, but with the blood which was a uh, Virgin Stores exclusive or something like that. Maybe Tower Records exclusive, I'm not sure. But that's a great piece. You have to watch out with these because they're kind of top heavy and eventually just kind of lean forward and break the joints. So I super glued with really strong glue uh, the joints just to make sure that doesn't happen. And the feet, obviously, I've super glued them to the base. And he hasn't been leaning forward, so he's a really good piece, though. I've got the unopened brown version here and the only one of these I could find on eBay recently packaged up like this was 600 pounds and I managed to get this just in time and this was like 60 pounds I remember and that was a lot because I remember back in the day going up London and getting one of these for whatever it was like maybe 20 pounds or something I wish I knew the original price someone out there must remember let me just flip this. Yeah, Sota Toys, they did amazing stuff. The Tower Records exclusive grey and bloody werewolf, uh, which is that one. Pretty sweet. The mega scale pumpkin head. 
Um, but yeah, there. It's very dark, sorry. But there he is. That was from Mark and Irene. Um, and there's the thing. Anyway, yeah, I've got one of these boxed. And I'm probably just going to keep it in there. You know, just keep it safe. It's my favourite horror movie of all time. And then we got something I found in Woolworths. Um, back when there was a Woolworths. This is just some werewolf from a Doctor Who episode. I don't like Doctor Who, but I saw the advert on TV for the fact that there was an episode coming up with a werewolf, so I made sure I saw that one. And it was a pretty cool werewolf. This is a cool figure because you can really pose him like he's on all fours, uh, like a quadruped, or you can pose him like this, like a biped. That's a pretty cool figure. And, you know, it makes me kind of tempted to modify it and maybe put hair on it and mess around with it a little bit. Good to have this if you're a werewolf fan. Stand up, he likes to fall over though, so be careful with him. That's the name plate, uh, one of the name plaque that came with the cool models werewolf. He got a very intense look in his eyes as well. Wish his uh, main fangs here were a little bit thinner, they're a bit cartoony looking but it's not too bad. We've got various uh, versions of the howling around the place. I really like the artwork on that one. It was a kind of VHS style Blu-ray. Got that in HMV. And a box for the, yeah, the Ultimate Nightmare Demon. Another version of Dog Soldiers there. Is it Screen Factory? I forget. Yeah, I think it's Screen Factory. But nice to have that one because of the completely different artwork. And then I think it's Slasher Junkie in America, a YouTube channel, Slasher Junkie. He helped me get this uh, in America. The small version of the Howling Werewolf. And that's pretty cool. I put him back in the packaging because I really love the packaging. So. I take him out again. And you got this little bust here, the original Wolfman. Had that a long time. Also got Dracula and Frankenstein. And there's another Kessler Wolf. This is a clean version. Such a good figure. And you got this 112 scale werewolf from Cool Models, the same guys who made this one. And then more recently they made this small guy. Now this is such an awesome werewolf design. I did um, paint the eyes white. And it came with a nice base. He had the option to get the deluxe version with the diorama base. So I decided that was worth doing. But check out the reviews for everything here. You know, everything you see has its own individual reviews and pose videos and all kinds of videos. But everything you will see. Lots of stuff. Need to tidy things up a little bit, folks. And here's the other one. It's more like a snow environment. Added some more blood to this and the figure itself. Made the eyes all white. That kind of demon look. Now that's a really good one too, but I, I definitely prefer this one. That's just the colouring. I like it better. But very nice to have those two. Not too many of these made. And then, yeah, the big howling werewolf. Check out the review. It was nice and in-depth and you got plenty of poses and the lighting was a lot more better suited to this character, this creature. And then finally, we have the custom 1-6 scale, one of four ever made, unless Bree Toons decides to do some more later on. But that's Bree Toons on Instagram, made this. I was able to snag one of these. And it is absolutely awesome. It's Dog Soldiers. It's the werewolf right there. Well, there's more than one werewolf in the movie. This is one of them. 
and I was so excited to do the review on this piece because it means so much to me and yeah man this figure did not disappoint very creepy design to these werewolves and they were so kind of just scary the way they behaved the things they were able to do it's got an awesome side profile that's why I kind of got it turned to the side it just looks so creepy but that is the werewolf collection thus far bad moon I've never seen a figure based on that particular werewolf but definitely watch that film if you're a werewolf fan that is really really good and it's based on a book where the story was told from the perspective of a German shepherd dog uh, that was trying to protect its family from a family member who came to stay with them who was a werewolf and obviously the dog could tell straight away obviously can't speak can't tell them but it's an interesting book which I have to admit I've never been able to find uh, but the movie Bad Moon is based on that book and obviously the German Shepherd features heavily in the movie too. It's got some pretty cool scenes, but it's a great werewolf. It really is biped, you know, on its hind legs, running around beast, like quite similar looking to the one from the Howling. Um, but yeah, it's just really good, man. Check out that one. There's some other good werewolf movies. I like that Jack Nicholson one, Wolf. That's different. I saw that in the cinema when that came out. Um, what else? Team Wolf, obviously, <laughs> from the 80s. You know, the first one. Michael J. Fox. Don't remember too much about the second one. Have seen it, obviously, but yeah. What else? Uh, that one, Wolfen. I just like my werewolves to look, you know, like werewolves. I know it's difficult to do in movies, but yeah, that kind of biped wolf man thing. You know, nice point ears, long snout. Not that kind of really short, stubby face where they couldn't figure out how to do, you know, the mouth open and close, so they just go with a more human look. I like that werewolf snout, you know, coming out. That is really nasty. But yeah, this kind of thing. That's what I'm into. That's my werewolf jam. Ugh. Trying to think of other werewolf movies. The one from Monster Squad. That's a great werewolf. That's the... Uh, good film folks from the 80s monster squad like goonies but with dracula the wolfman frankenstein mummy yeah the howling sequels the ones i've seen not very good i remember yeah part two i didn't like that and then i saw the one called the freaks where it's like a freak show at a circus or something um and what else i think I've seen like maybe two others oh yeah something about nuns Oh, a sequel to American Wealth in London, American Wealth in Paris. That was awful. Yeah, I remember that. So I'll be back with you real soon, folks. Thanks for all the comments and thanks for subscribing. And drop a like on the video, helps the channel out. And follow me on Instagram, D933. I'll see you soon. Take it easy. Bye bye.